much and uh, very happy to see you. Thank you, George, and greetings to all our viewers. Uh, we are very glad of your visit uh, to come and check on us and to try to find out what is going on. We have had a number of meetings and planning about this event. We are looking forward to a very powerful spiritual moment for mm. the people of Agago, Kalongo in a special way, and it's extended to the whole country because uh, Father Ambrosoli is going to be one of those blessed that have really served this country with uh, great love and dedication. And a lot of people uh, want to show also their admiration, their respect, and give glory to God for what Father Ambrosoli did. So the committee has enlarged itself to embrace the whole archdiocese. Even we have people also from Kampala that are very interested in this program and Tebe and so, and they are also promising that they will come. And, uh, and so we are very glad uh, and very grateful also to the political leaders and some authorities who have really taken this event as something important and they have encouraged also um, uh, other people to support. So we are now at the last month basically uh, and we are moving with some of the material preparation that has been delayed also because of the lack of funds in this, to tell the truth. And, and, and we have now at the point in which we have um, more or less a uh, plan on everything that has to be done and then we are moving forward to do that. Uh, so there will be some shelters here in front of the church as you might see mm -hmm. and then we have already had the district to send us their grader to, to do the, the needful. Mm -hmm. So that this place will be very much welcoming for the pilgrims that would come that day. We are also working in conjunction with the schools so that their places, their, their classrooms, their <coughs> places of conveniences mm. would be uh, in good condition so as to welcome the, the many guests that will come to, to be with us during those days. Mm. And so we are looking forward to that. Spiritually we have been preparing through our catechism, also through this information that we are disseminating. We have made people aware of the virtues of Father Dr. Ambrosoli who was a, an Italian from a place in Italy called Ronago, Como province, mm. and he came to us here in the year 56, and he served as a doctor. He was born in 1923, and uh, he became a doctor first, mm. and after having uh, finished his studies in medicine, he asked the Comboni missionaries to be able to join our institute if he would be allowed also to serve as a doctor. They told him, they welcomed him very much because he said, this is exactly what we need. Mm -hmm. You know, people who can also give a variety of services in the missions where we are. As soon as the father who was working here in Kalongo, Father uh, Malandra, mm -hmm. Alfredo Malandra, in fact, there are many people called Malan around. Yeah, I see, I see. As soon as Malandra heard that there was a seminarian who was already a doctor, he begged the Comboni missionaries to assign him to Kalongo. Mm. Which, after some struggles, because when Father uh, came also to Gulu, uh, Bishop Chesana wanted him to boost probably Gulu Hospital better. Mm. And, and, and instead, Malandra insisted he used to be called a Watamatek, much I you know, <laughs> because he was also very determined and very stubborn. In fact, he, he has built so many schools and, and places here, chapels and so. And so he managed to get Father Ambrosoli for us here in Kalongo, which was a great blessing mm -hmm. because Father immediately threw himself into the work, he did a lot of buildings and improvements to the incipient dispensary that Malandra had started, together with the sisters, of course, because they were the ones who were in charge of the dispensary, the Comboni sisters. Malandra brought it into a full-fledged hospital. Mm. Through the help of friends and benefactors that he would get, he came from a very affluent family, and he could also pull those resources from his friends and relatives in order to make Kalongo what it is now a big hospital with more than 300 beds, serving a great community here in the whole of Agago, and at that time, even now, 
many people even come from other districts to be treated here because mm -hmm. the services are good. And that is what we are praying, that the work that Father Ambrosoli started would continue in that spirit of generosity, of uh, service to the people of God and to everybody, you know, mm -hmm. who comes in the hospital. You are an important person that you have to be helped in your health and that is already something uh, absolutely good. And so this is what we are trying to now make people also aware that sanctity, blessedness is possible. God has called us to a life of sanctity, to a service to other people, to love your neighbor as you love yourself and to be able also to serve the needy in our communities, we have so many needy people, and we need people who will be good Samaritans to them, the way Father Ambrosoli was, with the little we have, mm. and to be able to come to the help of those who are in need. And, and, and we have continued in that spirit after Father Ambrosoli had to leave the hospital from here, and eventually he met his death in Lira because of his sickness he should have gone before mm. he needed treatment and so but he really decided to sacrifice on behalf of the people of Kalonga and then at the end uh, when he died then the mission had to close for a couple of years then eventually the missionaries came back and they continued in that spirit of Father Ambrosoli to serve and to accompany the people during those difficult years uh, of, of coin mm. uh, of Alacuena and so it, it was a very very tough time for the, the church also in this area but you know you, you get strong mm. in trials eh? yeah. and so I think the church has matured we have grown that experience also have taught us a lot of things thank God we now live in peace we should really keep this peace protect this peace by uh, encouraging our young people to, to do something meaningful in their lives. So for us, in this parish, we have tried really, especially the young people, to hear about the life of Father Ambrosoli. He was a very young man, and he was able to offer that youthfulness, that desire to serve others. Mm. And so his life was motivated by that. He didn't have time to drinking or to merrymaking in other ways. He was happy in doing what God wanted him to do. Mm. And that's what we would like a lot of people to know, know that the real joy is not in the things of this world, but it is in offering really your life to God and to the service of other people in that spirit. Uh, and also we are trying to, little by little, break down the biography of Father Ambrosoli with some uh, mm. Bible quotations so that people would realize really that Ambrosoli, as the Bishop of Como once said, is a depiction of the Gospel, you know. You can see the Gospel in the life of Ambrosoli, you know, mm. especially that parable of the Good Samaritan, and that kindness that Jesus says, the Good Shepherd went to look for the lost sheep. Mm -hmm. He didn't just stay uh, happy with the 99, he went after the lost one. Mm. And that's what Ambrosoli did with great care, with great love. People here still remember and admire the patience, the the, the endurance, you know, he, he had to really struggle a lot of uh, times to, to get the people really get better, <coughs> not just by amputating or mm. by doing this and that, but to accompany them, healing them for a long time, even to save that leg, to save that arm, to save that hand, so that they would continue uh, serving their community, you know. There were years of terrible suffering in our midst here, mm. and Father Ambrosoli was a wonderful sign of God's care for the people of Kalong or, or a, a couple of other legs, you know, yeah. he was a human being like us. Mm -hmm. So the only thing that he opened to the gift of God mm -hmm. in, a, in a very generous way, he always wanted to emulate the example of Christ. Mm -hmm. And he begged for his spirit to guide him in everything that he did. And God granted him that particular mm -hmm. blessing, you see, mm -hmm. to be able to be a proper sign of God's love for the people. Mm -hmm. They say, I am God's servant on behalf of the people who suffer. That he understood that to be his name and his mission. Mm -hmm. uh, and and it will be so nice that all of us understand that we have a place in this world, that we are not here just to waste time and to occupy space. We are here to do something for the glory of God. Mm -hmm. and, and that's the message. We are all called to be saints. So, so here we are in the cemetery of Kalongo that has hosted the a body of a blessed to be venerable father Ambrosoli for the last 23 years or so 
of his departure. He died in Lira on, on the 27th of March 1987. Uh, he died of kidney failure. He, in fact, needed medical treatment long before. But those were the years of the takeover of the present government. The situation was quite unstable and the hospital had to be evacuated because the government judged that uh, a place like that with medicines and other facilities could be uh, a help even for the rebels to, in a way, get stronger. Uh, and so they decided to close the hospital and to send all the missionaries away in order to flush the rebels. But that didn't happen. They just closed the hospital and the rebellion continued for all 20 years, as we all know. And uh, what, uh, what happened was that father also, in a way, died of a heartbreak, so to say, sadness and, and sorrow for what he saw. Uh, his uh, beautiful work, his uh, loved daughter, which was the hospital and the school, uh, of midwifery school that he so much struggled to bring up, uh, was now in danger of, of, of death. And, and so he sacrificed, so to say, for, for this particular institution to, to stay. Uh, he died in Lira, as I said, on, on March 1987, and thereafter his body remained buried in the cemetery of the Comboni missionaries in Lira for about seven years. 1994, after the request of the people of Calong and the expressed desire of Father Ambrosoli to be buried in Calong, his body was brought back here with great commotion and, and, and joy and mixed with, of course, sorrow for the loss of Father. Uh, and, but it was a very, very powerful uh, welcoming that the people of Calongo made of the remains of Father Ambrosoli. And, and there in front of the church there was a beautiful prayer uh, of commending of his soul. And at the end of the prayer people, uh, culturally, naturally, according to them, they came and they offered even their dances uh, to, to send off, so to say, this beloved brother to the presence of God. And it was a very, very moving moment. Uh, now, 30 years later, we are here with this uh, beautiful news of the beatification of Father So. In, 19, 19, uh, in 2019, uh, Bishop, together with doctors and other people, they came and exhumed the body of Father Ambrosoli. They removed this slab mm -hmm. and they took his human remains and then they kept them in another place. They took some and they have prepared what is called reliquaries, places where the small bones of Father will be also kept okay. for people's devotion. <laughs> you can pray through the intercession of a man that has been so close to Jesus that certainly his prayer can now help us mm. to be like him, no? to be servants of others, to emulate the example of Jesus, the Good Samaritan as well. And so this is what is happening now. Now in the church, we have now prepared also what we call it, a teka, an urn, where we will put those human remains of Father Ambrosoli, which after the declaration of the beatification that will take place on the 20th of November, they will become now relics. Mm. So people can devotedly <coughs> pray through the intercession of Father Ambrosoli to God that whatever need they have, may God also help them, okay? Mm. Provided, of course, the good spirit is there to ask for things that can help them also grow spiritually, okay? So this is the idea, that's what we are preparing for, and, and this is why even you will find that here every now and then people come, sit down, pray. Uh, the girls of the midwifery school, they never fail on every Tuesday. There is a group of young girls that come here and they say their rosary um, through the intercession of Father Ambrosoli as well so that God may continue to protect this beautiful work that has been started and bless them also in their own endeavors. So this is the burial place of Suor, or sister Eleta Mantiero, who was born in 1904 and died in 1982. And she came also to Calongo much before Father Ambrosoli 
together with Father Malandra, she started the dispensary. Mm. And the Comboni sisters were serving there, Sister Lucia, Giacoma, so many of them served very generously in the dispensary. You know, here, uh, according to the tradition of the local people, for instance, if a child has certain problems, they just give up on him. And, and then you are even supposed to get rid of certain children that have problems. Mm -hmm. the, the sisters instead were helping the, the mothers to appreciate the life of those children and then they said, no, let them, let us cure them. You they see that they will be okay. So because people are afraid, you know, of certain sicknesses and so. So, and then they were helping the mothers, you know, to feed properly so that their children will come out well. And little by little, of course, this developed in a huge maternity mm -hmm. and, and, and midwifery kind of service for people. Mm -hmm. okay. It's a bit risquena, belonging to the congregation of the Little South Mary Martlet of Gulu. I'm just happy to tell the audience that we are preparing for a great day, that is 20th of November this year. It will be next month, and we are preparing to beatifying our doctor, priest, doctor, father, Gusipe Ambrosodi. She's the founder of the school, Kalongomu Dufu Trading School, and the hospital, that is Dr. Ambrosoli Memorial Hospital, which he started, was started by himself. And I'm glad to say that I am among the alumni who were taught in the school that he started, that is St. Mary's Ludifri, training school. I got my certificate and I finished my diploma in 2021 last year. And I'm working in his hospital that he started by himself. And we as the staffs of the hospital, I'm a midwife working in Antinental. We help mothers and their babies and all other patients in various categories. We, as the staffs of Dr. Ambrose Memorial Hospital, we are very glad that we are going to have a holy man who has been practicing and helping the sick ones. So we are trying to emulate his footsteps. As we are told, we have never seen him, but we are told he used to do miracle and he performed the miracle through healing. He helped many patients who came far, far away. Not because he was giving them medicine, but the way he was touching them, the way he was presenting to them. Through smile, through empathy, and other acts of charity. So we as staffs, as midwives, we try also to emulate, to help this mother who was suffering who are laboring in order through the process of labor pain and others that the outcome may be well. If there is problem, we always invoke Dr. Ambrosoli to intercede for them and eventually the process comes out successfully and we are grateful that he's working miracle for us in the hospital. And as the students, as the staffs, as the tutors, we are very grateful for this holy man that is going to be beatified next month on the, 11, on the 20th of November 2022. We are grateful and we ask everyone who is able please come and witness. It is a great day, it has never happened in Uganda, it's the first of its kind and we are very glad. Come all, come and witness, come and get blessings, thank you. Please and doctor will be beautified next month on the 20th. It is only one month from today that we are going to have him. He came, he dedicated his life as a priest, as a doctor, and now we are going to have him among us. That is why I say this parish is a holy place, a holy parish, because two of us the Woodfield Children are already here in the parish. And next month, from today, Father Dr. Ambrosoli is also going to be beautified in the parish. Don't you think that is really a great blessing coming right from heaven up to water? This place is now a holy land, I would call it. 
Amen. Amen. Yes. Thank you. So all of us are welcome. Come and see what the Lord will do for you, for us, for the entire world in the parish right here. Thank you. All right. I want to appreciate God eh, for the day of today uh, of choosing a truly lovely two boys who will devote their lives to stand for Christ and for Christ, to evangelize what God has really empowered them to others. So today, today is we are remembering that day. And also, not only remembering, we are also inviting these young ones to follow the example of David Kelo and Jibura. What he has done for us, what he has done for the all of people of goodwill. So through his, I mean, through their example, we need to help, we need to guide, we need to support one another, you know? Start doing things alone cannot help, but collectively we can do much with Christ or in Christ. That's what I want to say today. Today is a lovely day for us, and we are proud of the two what matters, our brothers. And now, when we uh, try to uh, to remember the day of today, let me say it actually boys to be the people. Uh, to be proud of their brothers who really <laughs> sacrifice themselves, you know. I think you have seen where they have been killed. One of them, when he was speared, and when he had, oh, uh, okay, you have already speared my brother now, I'm also here. Do it, and it been others like, like this. You think they will stand for, or they will take off rather, running. But this one saying, no, 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 I have to come. And also we are too, we need to sacrifice ourselves. So we are blessed. And today, today we are happy. And everybody is happy. Not only in Uganda or in Acholi land, only all over, even outside the country. That's what I want to say today. Yeah, briefly in the remembrance of this day, how could it change our life? Yeah, especially I our think faith. you can see even, not even saying more, more words, you can see the pretty much people that have come walking from far distances coming here. And you can see the multitude of people. That shows that they are what? <laughs> they are, what they have done has now made people to come. Otherwise, it be not for God, do you think people are going to come? That's what I want to say. Thank you. So your name? So Chai. Hello, I'm on Parish. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, May we know, begin from your name. Good morning, viewers. My name is Lucy Obonyo Ogenga. Mm. I am one of the host committee okay. of Golo Diocese. And I am on the ground in Kalongo, the host committee. Mm. Uh, I am under finance and we have a lot about the term reserve. First of all, I would like to say that I saw Dr. Ambo myself. I was a little girl by then. I remember we used to climb a tree and fall a lot because we were stealing mangoes from the sister's home. But each time we steal a mango, we have to fall from the tree. And we as little girl, we owned Dr. Ambo because he was a lovely man. The smile used used to really attract us. So each time we break our hearts, we just pick the person who has fallen from the tree straight away to the to Dr. Ambrosoli's room. We don't even knock. We just enter. And each time he sees us, he just smiles and says, oh, these children of mine. Immediately, the person will say, I don't have any pain anymore. Just looking at Dr. Ambrosoli, the pain will be relieved immediately. I would like to testify that Dr. Ambrosoli is rightly a saint. He is going to be uh, beautified on 20th 
next month. And me, as one of the host committee, would like to have a support from everybody. In my hands here, we have envelopes that are going round for everybody. If you have time, please, you can call this number. You can call specifically my number, Lucy Ogonio Ogena, 0772-461-477. That one, I have the envelopes that you can put even 5,000. 2,000, 1,000 is just good enough for somebody to have a glass of water. We are all grateful for that. And then we have in this, we have an account number where when we give you the, the envelopes, you can deposit the money straight away to the to Centenary Development Bank account. The name of the bank account is Dr. Ambrosoli Beautification Fund Account. The account number is 310 that is the account number for Dr. Ambrosoli. Just deposit any amount that you'd like to, to give us. We are grateful for everything. If not, if you like it very fast, it can go on a mobile number 0776 6226 and the merchant code we have is 5016544 and this is named under registered trustees of archdiocese of gulo we shall be very grateful and see you there is it the first of it i Yes, this is the first of its, its kind in the whole of Africa. That's why we are so proud about it. It's a small place, Kalawi is a small place, but it's blessed. It's the first kind of its own in Africa. So as, as Ugandans, first of all, it's a national thing. It's a national thing. It's a national, oh, a national thing which is going to take place. It's going to take place in Uganda, in Hash Diocese, Ulu, in Kalongo Parish, a small place. And this Dr. Mbruzoli is not only for the, for the Catholic or for, for religion, or, but he's a doctor. It's for everybody because he worked on very many people in the whole of it. Come from Sudan, come from where he has worked on. He has everybody talking of him. So it is not a religion thing. We are very, very, very grateful to tell you that the, the honor of the home is coming. And that is His Excellency. His Excellency. The president of Uganda is coming to welcome his people, to welcome his visitors in his home. Very many, very many. We shall have so many from Italy. They are even, even the the governors of the Ambrosoli's place are coming. There are very many coming from Italy. Come and witness. Yes, we'll be proud of it. Otherwise, this is a potuwama tubu. <laughs> we shall chew it. Yes. Thank you. By your phone, it's fine. And we'll come back and meet you. Brightline TV, Paco Jochnia. Yeah, you may have to give one come. May you, may you, man, may beautifying. Doctor Ambrosoli, matika timedwe manyan. 
akun Andrew watch my briefly kept my youth chair work very. I for it, Father Dibon Com, Quinto, what for my child. For the ton presenter Tamuni Nya and take me what a query, Quinto, what? But he won't come, may you pay beautification per Doctor Mbruzoli. Your man of Chakima bear to twelve. Came over to win a benequity. Dog Ben, take a word, my bear. Kitty and Lock no better Timoka Chakima Paul to twelve. One Machado Calon community were take key dual mamewa. Magineno kit mamir were you query key gang. In your way, look up in a pajo. Paul Cardo, you ain't Unlo Pajo, you Pajo Ben Maleng. So one of the better Cayeler to Alme, you may Pajo Ben Maleng. But he jammed a canoe of Paul Cayo in New Ecclesia. Which are the crystal can go you better Maleng. Um, you carry the bar Malach, which are the crystal better Cajuer and a man of better Tigma Maya Machado won't come. Ma, we are a man on the men in Miero. All the talk carried with COC for Pia, Geno Yubu Jamo Kenne, Macha could teach. And Miroca teach up Tigumano. Ah, don't. Paco George, I am only men. Keep my inner pen up there. You pick a word, my bear, to one. My combati, it's a bit more caroni than a pair of young men. What better I talk about date, Madame, the date Archbishop, ah, over the beni ye, and you presiding. Ma, over my bear, to one. Ma, you pen any, ni chake, ma, o chake, why, 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 do me a bit shell at amoni. Ma jumu mara jina ubeni peti, yubeni watbiro tu tuale iye kunbeni kumoro tika na mani yao na kwa team bene fudua geno kitemeno yote kana magimu mara pere ti tika word raili mbeni tika word maumio dano wengi giyom tu tuale kitema unu bero word unano bene kwe giki dano kitema tia kwe ne ma jumu mara tu tuale pere dano giyom ti tika word ma bere la bora kwa yele yele ma. Yes. Uh, tika tiske strategy mane ning mane ane dano gen gunge pe yo ene ne. Wapo e dika mae dano bien ki yomchi. Ah, wati ka tiki yo ma Paul ba. Wati dul ki dul. Wati ki dul pa kete katikaisis. Wati ki dul pa lo lo poklo. Wapo wati ki dul pa lo yobleo. Dul ma papa ma duong tutuan. Ano wati yu kwegi? Chumi oloto chalo dul me. Malu pok ngech, Paul Card buat cuan yang wan wakero gen imoroka, kah gen cuan lom ngech ene ni, gen meno ikaber ma Paul ma pat pat, gen tiro kit kuah pam brusole, kaya brusole berunga. So omio Paul Card buat cuan gen tiu kila kit teach ene ni, mawat cuan ikaber ma Paul cuan nama kora kit gumatiri, tung 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 pajule, udah kuer na tung patang. Udo kwenye tungo pa imol kani, mani kaberi mukai na maguori ya, ba kufurika tiki plan maguori bene, kaberi mukai na mafuta utum, yes. Lock mechi wa kuchwin. Lock ama diki bora lo Kristo. Alama ro lo Kristo, unu bed kichwin matek, karu dong ma knock to twal. Makau na ro tini dongi ndo piario biachiel, yupo ene tini ndo piario. Mau miro wan watu yu matek, wachuko chwinwa. Gi ma pira tek ma loyo en ye lega. Paul jeme duche ngwa keri lega. Keri bedu wa tiyo en to miyoro chunyo beri lega bene ma tek to twal. Uwe jeme uyo bene ma be. Petie gi mo ma raich. Kari gi mo ken mo bero wujinu. Gi mo ma raich petie. Geni karo kene mego bero che. Doge ma noke ken. Ma tamune ka u bero wujinu. A wujinu jomo ken o chungu bera balen lo. Mo ken o bero tie. En to meno bero tamune che. Dego unyo. Kapo e kin meno che o no ngeo. Ka bero no tiya riyo. Inyi me kilisi ya. Ki... Kikinge Saint Teresa, so karamo kene no guake tamu ni meni mero kwa njia kinyimi kilisi ya kidua kinge Saint Teresa, so piman pe upe diki raka la kala mo ma peti gimo marach wa maro teach wa kerujamu lega yupo pepe ano kipinge chuma ma pat yupo tia kala beruge chini matek an machalo wonkomu kano lokmu kene tia kono kini au an ento mani yuo watin pepe pangi ukiti lokmu kene ma pat katia. Ento, ubeti kuchini matek, ana foyo, wamedo kiti jani. Ofo ilitual, imaiti nani wa Man Bright Line TV. Angeni meno yuko putika meta nim, man yuko na beautify Dr Ambrosoli. Matika tume tume mnyan. Karibu yuko tika what? Pia tayari, me winjwa kibot la date. 
Uh,